Hey, how's it going? Zyber has sent me a couple of products, including this guy. A, a neck power bank that rests around here and can keep the Quest 3 charged in the way that other power banks have failed. That's the first product. Yeah, so this field looks a little bit big. Uh, we might have to just play some Space Pirate Arena. And meanwhile, I'm going to try out this uh, Zyber battery strap, see if it's got the right amperage to keep the Quest 3 going. Back in our secret lab. Got him! Sorry, Rob. Hey, how's it going? I'm just over here by the know. embryos. How's it going? C come for a visit. Jolly old chap. Second product is another, another form of elite strap for the Quest 3. So we're going to try both of these out. Unbox them in the usual hat cam variety, and then I'm gonna give you uh, my comments on them But I got to tell you having done two and a half hours with the neck power bank This thing actually keeps the quest 100% charged while playing. I'm very impressed Let's go ahead and try to unbox these Okay, so first off the packaging feels a little bit a little bit cheap uh, the box arrived a bit damaged um, that's just shipping, however. I'm surprised they have this out so quickly. Uh, but let's go ahead and open this thing up. Um, it does, this is the white model that I've got. This is what the black one looks like. The cord comes down and connects the head strap. And there's enough play here. This makes, this diagram makes it look like it would be a problem. Uh, it really isn't. Okay. Let's go ahead and see what's in the box. Now this is... Not the first time I've opened this. I've actually done some field testing first. Uh, but really simple in terms of contents. Just an easy thing to see. So you see the big head strap. You get a couple of cables. Uh, side cable. And I guess that's supposed to be a charging cable. This is completely unique. I've not seen this before. Now let's uh, go ahead and pull this thing out. It looks... It looks... It just looks so weird. So what you have is on this side... Uh, you have a charging indicator and this is a battery that does not leave the unit so this is your input this is your output okay so this battery feeds the headset and then this battery I think feeds that battery or maybe feeds out here but however the internal electronics work this has a release mechanism and so there's a second 5,000 milliamp hour battery it is a 3 amp 5 volt output which is exactly what you need and the quest stays charged even when doing mixed reality capture now it's kind of like a pearlescent sheen on it so it's not a flat white and also the band is kind of gray so you can certainly tell the difference um, it's fine in the hands um, this uh, neck brace as well, it feels rubbery to the touch, and that's nice. And then you just throw it across, and you're not going to be able to see that. So that is a really neat little offering from Zyber. I'll have to show you how that works. And then basically one of the cables, right, just connects here, and then to the headset, as we saw in the diagram. Uh, and it works well. I field tested this actually, and it's been really cool so all right so that's the zyber neck power bank let's put that to the side okay here's the next product from zyber this is a new elite strap this reminds me a lot of what the kiwi uh head strap looked like on on quest 2 i've not used zyber products before so they're saying ergonomic design easy to install multi-angle adjustable because of these and then it's got uh, precision construction. So you can see what it looks like on the back there. Again, very simple boxing in terms of the size. I'll put links to each of these products 
down in the description so you can jump over to them. I think that's about 70 bucks. This is... I don't know. Okay. We'll go ahead and check the... Ooh, I love the flat pack. This is... It's nice because it's like... It comes through really... Uh, really, really flat packed. Feels like it's really... Um, in, con in contrast to what meta ships their um, units in. Which come in massive boxes. Now they're getting better, but... Okay, here we go. So this is the Zyber head strap, and we'll try mounting it. And then I'll try it out in a few places. There we go. Okay, first off, a silicone-like rubber rear. Again, the top strap feels exactly, if you've used a Kiwi before, it feels exactly like a Kiwi head top strap. This doesn't feel great. This feels quite like loose material on a foam pad. Slightly loose material. So in other words, I think this could this could die in two years, maybe two, a year and a half. I think this will rip um, with use. It'll go through heat and cold cycles and all that. But anyway, for the price, probably not a problem. Uh, these snap into the back, I suppose. Okay, for the rear elements of the head strap. And then, and that's the it's a head strap itself. All right, it's got some protective plastic on it. And oddly, uh, kind of a, a glossy finish on the sideband. It's a bit odd. Cable guide is there. Jake. Jake's loose. Hmm. Pay attention to the left and right. Please make sure to install in the correct direction. Because if you don't... All right. We'll do that. And then... There's some plastic on the side, too. All right. Very good. Comes with a cleaning cloth. Is that what this is? Huh. Interesting. All right, I'll leave that to the side for now. It doesn't say anything special. Bends up up to 60 degrees. Four flips 10% down to suit. All right, so left and right. Left and right. I'll go ahead and see how easily this connects. This looks just like a quick push fitting. And we just snap it in. How much force is this going to require? A lot of force is the answer. Alright, so that's going to need to... Come on. Wow. Wow, that's uh, very, very firm. That seems to have gone. Okay, that seems to have taken. First one. Okay, they're both in. And it does pivot without too much rattle. Just plastic on plastic. Uh, good action of the arms. I said 10 degrees down. It doesn't. The thing is, it snaps in that position, so that's a bit unfortunate. Maybe it's a good thing for the head strap. I don't know. I'll have to try it out. Uh, rear dial seems easy enough. Okay. Similar. Similar sound. It's not a push button. It's just a twist dial. Uh-huh. And there's the guide for the cable. Alright. So that is our Zyber. Seems good. Like, if you if you wanted a head strap... Let's try this out now. So this is the Meta Elite Strap. It costs more than 100... Can, it's like 120 uh, Canadian dollars. So it's uh, pretty light plastic. Light top strap. Um, light backside. Flush. Wheel. Um, and looks very good on the unit. Like, uh, definitely everything's flush and, and color matched. Uh, so if you if you pay the money, you can get that head strap. Okay, time to install the Zyber. Now it's quite a quite a white shade. Let's have a look. Again, this is available. 
immediately. Now the arm actually extends a little bit beyond uh, the headset with connection, which is, I don't know, a bit of an odd design choice. Why do they do that? Um, now I need to thread the head strap. Now notice that's that's not going to bend easily. Better have that sectioned uh, on their head strap just to just to show the difference, right? And it makes it makes a difference when you've got the different turning radius because you're getting around quite a tough. That one's almost inflexible, or as you can see, the metal one bends fine. You really don't want to break this arm of your headset. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and try this out. Because once you can feed it through, if you can pull at the same time, so push and pull, it's not too bad. Getting that in. I got a pretty big head, so I'll leave that almost at maximum. Can you adjust on both sides? Yes, you can. Interesting. Okay. Good. Okay. And then let's get the facial interface back in. Look good. These front bits, I don't know why they extended this. That's kind of an odd choice. Let's see how they extend just like a little bit too much. That's strange. Anyway, let's go ahead and put it to the test. Looks looks decent as a second, like an offhand. Let's strap. I'll give it a shot. Now let's try it on. But pardon me for a minute. Um, unfortunately, hat cam has to be quite tight so that it doesn't ruin a shot. Um, but that's why I'm getting this mark on my forehead, uh, just in full disclosure before we pick up the device itself. So here's the headset mounted. You can see that odd kind of little tilt in the arm. Now let's try it on, see how that feels. Okay, first off, I would say that the fit is, um, I, I would go so far as to say kind of perfect. It really does it, it, it does a really nice job of just hugging in the right places. I didn't have to adjust anything. Feels good here, feels good here. I can tell it's got me. It's like holding my head right here. And then out the front, it's like equal pressure on the front and bottom. I don't have to tilt it. Uh, now, the question is, can I? If I was to do that, can I? So if I, again, like that, and then I still have minor adjustment with the rotation against the arm. Uh, so that's good. So it feels very good. Uh, now, the top strap, I didn't even feel like it was on my head. That's funny. Uh, actually, you know what? That feels great. I'm surprised. Like, I left it a little bit light, but you can see it's still holding my head well. Uh, let's put this to the test. All right. So I haven't put this to use now. Uh, I've got to say that the the Zyber head strap, it almost, I almost like this kink, uh, this here, um, this like 10 degree little angle, maybe more than the Elite strap. It just, it does something about like how it holds the back of your head and the front of the head at the same time. Uh, without the headset being need to be like really tilted into your face. Uh, the other thing is that the uh, the battery bank is, I like both of these products. Um, I'm really surprised, like like into the point where I will recommend this head strap, uh, aside from this little design bit at the front, which is like very, very small, but it just goes past where the arm stops. And I wish they hadn't done that. It's just like, it's just weird. I don't know why they decided to extend that. I would, in the next revision, take that flush if you can. And then this works really well. It's got this little side clip um, that doesn't rattle in play as I thought it was going to. And then it just comes down to the chest and you have these two sides. And the best part is that while you're playing, let me disconnect that for a sec. Uh, while you're playing, yeah, I'll disconnect it here, make it easier. How do I do that? There you go, I'm getting used to this. Uh, so while you're while you're playing, obviously, you can stay connected, 
and if your battery power goes down to 50%, you just pull this little notch, this guy comes out, that's got a USB-C connection here, and you're able to take this 5,000 uh, milliamp hour battery, charge it, keep playing, and then when it's ready, top it back up. And so I need to do a test of how long this lasts you, but I can tell you I did I did two and a half hours yesterday outside in the full sunlight with the uh, with the Quest 3. I had the Elite Strap on it, not this one, um, and I had this cable in use coming down to this, and I didn't feel it. I just totally just didn't, I didn't notice this being on me the whole time. There was no grab of my ear or, uh, you know, a cable problem. And this uh, only dropped to, I think it was like 70%, maybe 60% of the battery in two and a half hours of play. Quest battery came out at 100%, not 96, 95, at 100%. And I was like super impressed with that because all the other battery banks that I've tested don't give enough amperage delivery. This one does the five volt, three amps combination that the Quest 3 needs. It needs a lot of juice. So usually people are looking for an option that's pretty darn good for the price. And I love the fact uh, that it's a new form factor. Uh, very cool, uh, very, very cool. So Zyber, good job. As looking for a budget, uh, I would go for that. And I would absolutely recommend the head strap as well. The head strap um, is like an elite strap for less money. Um, and it looks decent on camera too. So totally beaten Bobo there. Bobo looks like a Frankenstein monster attacked you. And honestly, the Bobo in this generation, it's just, it doesn't feel right. It wobbles a fair bit. Uh, it's very heavy on my like spinal column. And so from the head down. And so I'm, I'm afraid that the uh, Bobo at the moment of the three head straps that I've tested, sorry, four head straps that I've tested, I would put the Bobo probably in third place. So here's the standard strap. It's obviously the weakest of the lot, but you can lie down and stuff with it. I'm okay with the head strap. You guys know I've done 24 hours with it. Then you got the Bobo in the next place. I just found it kind of uncomfortable. I gave it to my wife. She can enjoy that. Um, this would probably be, because of price, I'd put the, the Meta Elite Strap second and Zyber now in first place. Um, you may just see the Meta one on stream more often. Uh, because I do like, I mean, we got to see, is this enough? Oh, something I didn't test. Is this enough? Let's see, let me take this off for a sec. I don't need that there. Uh, but is this, is this guy, how does the tilt work? Like, is the tilt, oh, geez, that's cool. Okay, and I can pull that in. Does that save my, so I can just leave that on my head. Looks a little bit silly with the big kink in the top part, but, um, can I just do that? I bet you... So I, I bet that in doing this, the lenses... Okay, the lenses are resting on my, my head. So that's not particularly comfortable. Uh, but you do have the ability to just be like, hey, what's up? So that could that could become my daily driver. It's really interesting. That's surprising. I think it will be, actually. Just because I want to be able to show it off. It does come with the little bit to route the cable as well, which is missing on the Elite. Huh. Zyber have done a great job. Excellent. Well, consider that for your purchase and hope you enjoyed the uh, hat cam unboxing. See you on the next one of these.